This episode of CleaningBiz.TV is made possible by the Janitorial Store, the online community for successful cleaning business owners. I'm Jean Hansen, and this is a show that will help turn your vision into a successful cleaning business. I recently had a new cleaning business owner ask what he was doing wrong in marketing his cleaning business. He was doing all sorts of activities but not getting any results. When I asked specifically what he was doing to market his business, he rattled off a list of what I call passive marketing. Things like newspaper ads, flyers, introductory letters, and so on. What I've noticed when you do this type of marketing is that you're busy at your desk creating the materials and then you wait by the phone hoping someone will call. Have you ever known anyone to have great success with this? I haven't. So if you're looking to gain clients quickly, then waiting by the phone will never work. The real key to getting clients, and I've said this a thousand times before, is to get out there and start meeting people and grow your network. The idea isn't necessarily to meet the people who will become your clients. Of course, this is great when you do meet prospects who happen to need your service right now, but that's rare. Rather, the idea is to grow your network so that more and more people get to know you. The more people who know you, the more people there are who will likely refer your business. You see, when you put your face out there, people will be able to associate who you are with what you do. If you're just a name in a newspaper ad, you're just like every other faceless cleaning company out there. But if they've met you in person and know who you are, they're much more likely to remember you and say, oh, you're looking for a cleaning company? I know someone who does that. Now, as we discussed this topic in our online forum at the janitorial store one day, one of our members shared her thoughts. Here's what she said. The best way to get your face out there is to join networking groups or events. We've had great success with our local chamber of commerce. There are also many small business associations and groups holding networking events, so get out there and meet other people. I mean, really get to know them, who they are, what they like about their business, what they like to do outside of work, etc. They're people too. They have businesses and want to succeed just like you. So you already have something in common with them. It's just a little awkward at first at the meetings, but the more often you attend, the easier it becomes because you get to see a lot of the same faces at many events and you actually do get to know these people and see them as more than that guy who could be my next client. Eventually, he becomes that guy who reads the same books I do, or that lady who gave me the great banana bread recipe. Or, like I said earlier, they'll remember you if they hear that someone else is looking for a cleaning service, and they'll give you a great referral simply because they know you and trust you. So what are you doing behind that desk? Get out there and start growing your network. That's it for today's show. Be sure to post your comments on this episode below the video at cleaningbiz.tv. And if you'd like more personalized help for your cleaning business, be sure to visit our online communities, thejanitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. I'm Jean Hansen, and I'd love to connect with you on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Just look for the links at cleaningbiz.tv. See you next time.